Hello and welcome to Zero Cam. It's good to see you all today. Um, Zeph, you are correct. This is not a painted thing. I changed that earlier and then closed the screen and then just realized it didn't actually change. So uh, let's go ahead and get it over. We are doing a 75-point uh, battle today. The We are doing a uh, Steamroller 24. This is uh, scenario two on the preview rules that we saw called Battle Lines. So this is a 75-point game. Uh, between Sea Raiders uh, and Grimkin, and they've already rolled off. Uh, they've chosen sides. Uh, oh, thank you. That's awesome. Glad you got it. Uh, and they are doing Sabbath vs. Dreamer. So before we get started here, just a quick shout-out, as always. Thank you to Enchanted Grounds here in Littleton, Colorado. If you're ever in the area, uh, for whatever reason, come down and join us. We'd love to uh, always get a game in or just chat or whatever it is you're doing. Uh, come down and say hi if you're in the area. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, the uh, Gen or Warfare Weekend is over. We had a great time there. Check out those videos on YouTube. We had a lot of content up from that. Um, and otherwise, we are back to our standard uh, stream, uh, weekly stream. So today, again, we have two of our regulars on the left going first. You're the right, sir. On the left. Going first is Rob, our Grimkin player. He chose Drimmer. Uh, you won for You rolled. You won. We let him go first. Okay. So he chose to go first. Uh, and then uh, Will, who was one of our uh, announcers over Warfare Weekend and also a regular on the stream, uh, is putting his terrible, terrible, nasty Orgoth on that side of the board. So a couple, of things, <laughs> there's a couple of things you will notice as we get going here. Um, terrain is everywhere. Lots and lots of terrain. That is new for Steamroller 24. Uh, they recommend 12 to 14 pieces of terrain. So very terrain heavy. So we're looking forward to that. Um, what else have we got going on here? A couple other things. Rob's already put out two walls. He has defenses, and he chose two walls. So that's what's up there. Um, and I'm going to hand it over to our players and uh, let you all walk through your lists sure. and uh, deployment. So I'm playing the Dreamer. Uh, this is my pretty standard Dreamer list. Um, uh, so I have one of each of the three heavies. So, so you've got the Skinamones, the Clockatrice. My clock looks different than other people's. Um, and then a uh, Cage Rager. I've got a min unit of um, Dreads just because I have some space. I do have Isaiah. I've got Kiriana, I've got a Grave Ghoul, um, uh, one Krabbit, two units of the Mad Caps, because I like summoning those things, and then a Death Knell. Um, I, you know, I know, I know there's a lot of different theories out there about Grimkin. I truly believe the corpse mechanic is one of the best, so uh, not only by the plus two armor, but the ability to give out that corpse is really powerful, I think, in, in, uh, in Grimkin. And then for um, command cards, I have Blessings of the Gods and Defenses. I have two defenses because I went first. Fortune's Path, Ill Omens, of course, you take both of those. Uh, Labyrinth, Power Swell, and Sacrifice. Well, um, I've got my Sabbath list here. Uh, I've got my two Tyrants. One of them has a Harpoon and a Claw setup. The other one's got a Relentless Charge, a Scything Flail, and a Claw as well. I've got my three different Toolbox Jackals. I've got my Arc Node. That's going to be a little bit harder to kill with uh, a mace as well. Uh, let's see. Actually, oh no, that arc node is supposed to have a pneumatic spike. That's fine. I'll grab that in a second. Um, I've got my bloodthirst jackal. That's in there to be a little bit harder to kill with a glaive. And then my berserk jackal. It's got two two inch reach weapons, a pneumatic spike, and a war glaive as well. I'm trying out Malgriff to see if he means anything for SR24. See if he can kind of like camp somewhere and make it make it easier for me to capture. Got two units of War Witches. Uh, one of them has to be a unit of Arcanist because I forgot my second unit today. A uh, unit of Assault Reavers with a uh, standard, two Volcars, and a unit of Rocks. So that is my list. And the one thing, uh, so we, we played this as a, as a tournament. We, we show, showed he is not playing Kishtar, so I did not drop my uh, shooting defense list. I took my, my, base, my base army. And then I think you just wanted to play Sabbath instead of... I did want to test out my Sabbath list just to kind of make sure. I haven't played Sabbath uh, a lot, so I haven't gotten a ton of reps in. Uh, and I'd like to probably get in a couple more before the coming tournament this Saturday. Awesome. So. And the tournament they're talking now about is a local tournament this Now that I have the correct loadouts on all my jacks. Like that. We'll use this one. Oh, that's fun. Um, 
Yeah, we have a local tournament this weekend up in Fort Collins. Uh, that is already full, but if you're ever in the area and want to get more games, uh, we do have game stores all over the area. That, uh... Turning them off now. Um, we do have games uh, all over um, the I-25 corridor here in uh, Colorado. If you're ever looking for games or ever anywhere um, in Colorado again, check out our, uh, blah, 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 our Discord. We have a war Colorado War Machine Discord uh, that we can get you invites over to. It's open to everybody. Um, and that is just a good place to organize those games. So. How's it going? Yes. Do you have permission to work? Yes. Well, I don't have to call on this. So you actually made the store anyway. Oh, okay. So um, that's in my car. So. Yeah, just give it. That's the, um, the remap. Just um, Thank so you, sir. They released a uh, paper, so like all your so things are so Some of the major things are like uh, your ability number is so That's all we care about anyway. Yeah, no one really cares about that. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, little things like that, but still second edge. Second edge. Um, totally fine. Back to you. Yeah, maneuvering those uh, those medium bases in AD really hurt sometimes, <laughs> especially when I got all these pokey bits. I have a couple second uh, advantage due to deployment, so I oh, will yeah. take it. <laughs> that sweet, sweet 23 second advantage. Summon some imps. One. Yeah, that's that's standard. <laughs> that is in our games. Oh, sorry. I meant to hand pray over to Isaiah. One. Run. Uh, seven plus nine. Well, Um, activate the dreamer. She starts with seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's gonna cast um, two, four, six, seven. She cast artifice of deviation, and we'll go right there. Uh, she's gonna cast mirage on Isaiah. And then she's going to run. You got it. Seven. Um, four. It should just be within one inch in case you somehow figure out how to get a shot to her. I think if, if I could get anything on her next turn, it would be spells. Um, so... Yeah, I could maybe try and get some spells on her next turn, but you've got three transfers, so I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, so. Yeah. And who's got the... Uh, Let's guess. They can move and shoot quite far, right? Um, so they can walk six and place two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick eight inches 
past the one that's going to be able to move the furthest and see him. So that's just to represent the six inch move and the two inch place. Okay. What's the range of the weapon? Eight. So I am going to back Isaiah up just a smidge and behind the wall. They do have skewer, so they can't skewer you right now. But cool. All right. I've started doing that for my unit walk or other stuff threats. Yeah. Just because it's easier to do the speed plus the two, and then you place the thing at the front of it. So it is a wing two. Mm -hmm. He's gonna just walk to there. So he's gonna give him a corpse. Okay. Ariana is going to just run to there. Um, ah. I feel like if anything, I should take hit and run out for Sapper. Ah, uh, he gets ghostly. Yeah, he gets ghostly on the charge. Oh, it ghostly says they can they can move through terrain without penalty. It is. It's an objective. It's a defense terrain feature. Mm -hmm. I believe so. I think we've come across that in the past, where it's like the wall stacks with rough terrain because it doesn't have the rough terrain rule. So there is definitely that to keep in mind. He's going to activate. He gains a corpse. He gives it to the Skinamones, and then he runs. You got it. To you, sir. Okay. Um, should be fine. Um, what command cards did you take? So I know uh, your arcana as well. So I did uh, blessing of the gods, defenses, okay. fortune's path, ill omens, labyrinth, power swell, sacrifice. Cool. That all sounds pretty good. Did you put mirage up anywhere? I did on on Isaiah. On Isaiah. Uh, that's grand. Uh, so he threats 15 with uh, Mirage? Uh, 8 plus 2 is 10, 15. 15? Okay, cool. So I kind of feel like I can slow walk that. Just a little bit. Because I technically, the things that are going after him do out-threat that. So he has prayed, yes. So I think what I'm going to do is just proceed to weaponize my assault reapers a little bit. And they're going to run this way. Be right outside that 15-inch threat. Sounds super awesome. Yep. Something that I've found with the new steamroller scenarios is the fact that Scoring out on scenario is so much harder when you have to do it on your opponent's turn. Um, that I have the ability to kind of play back a little bit more, and it also alleviates the top of or the top of two pressure that you have to like get on scenario. Yeah. To to not immediately lose. Um, hmm. Uh, your only arc node is over there? Uh, right now, remember, that's an arc node. So if you kill a medium base model, you can make it. Medium arc or node. large. Medium or large? I don't really think I plan on you doing that next turn. 
Don't leave anything in range then. I'm not, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to do that. Um, we're going to go ahead, walk through to those guys. Uh, up to 10 by the time they blow up. Okay. But remember, it's random. It's 5 yeah, plus D6. If I roll um, 6, though, they just blow up where they stand. Uh, all models within two inches. Not even an AOE. It's kind. Of, I actually kind of expect that to change in January. Fear me. Um, we're going to go ahead and give names. that guy exorcism. Um, and then he's going to run. Um, I didn't measure that properly. But we should be okay. And then, of course, I catch my rock and kill everything. Um, like a rock. Maximum melee threat of your clock address? Uh, six, nine, ten. Ten. And then I don't think. I misplayed here. I meant to keep Rager's them a little gonna, bit wider out. Not going to get to me next turn not. either. Skin and Moans isn't going to get to me. The only thing that can get to me is Isaiah, and Isaiah is not going to one round a. Uh, so do remember, I can teleport you forward. You will not be able to teleport me. Your mother's he has spell ward, my friend. I cannot teleport him. Cannot forward. teleport. Him. Yeah, I can kind of go that way a little bit, but I can't go directly over. He's gonna run ten over here. Checking to see. Okay. Yeah, leave him within fifteen, so I can get to the other one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run to there. Um, Sabrith is going to call Redline on my Bloodthirst Jackal uh, and Fog of War. She's gonna camp two. Uh, you kept your focus. And then she is going to run right to here. Remember, kids, if you're camping too, you're doing it wrong. Zero camp's the only way. Um, so just to check, because I want to see if Isaiah can actually apparate into the forest next turn. Does that put you in the forest? Yeah, you can You can mirage into the forest next turn. Question is, what does that let you see? Very little. In fact, pretty much nothing. I think you can see both. So you're not going to be able to charge anything next turn. So we're going to put you... What's up? Uh, no, no, no. So he doesn't, he only gains ghostly on the charge. You can't give him ghostly any other, any other way? I do not have ghostly any other way. Okay. Can you give him Pathfinder? Or does he have Pathfinder? Um, he does not come with Pathfinder. So he'll maximum get to there next turn. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. This model can advance through training obstacles without penalty. He is ghostly. He is now. just ghostly. He does not know, he's cool. no longer on the charge. Cool, cool, cool. So he can walk that far next turn, Yep. which means he threats 10 inches from wherever. That's it. So let's put my finger right here for that guy blowing up. Cool, so I care about that guy's threat more than I care about Isaiah's. Throw this guy right there. Throw this jackal right there. Um, 
we're going to throw this jackal right here. Because Isaiah is not going to be able to see him. So yeah, you can push me back, but not not by that much. I'm still going to try and fight you over the center of the board here. Um, he takes two to the four. Oh, can you not see my dice? Yes, people can't see my dice. That's how I cheat. Um, this tyrant. He's going to run to right there. My other war witches are just going to run to right there. All right. Okay. Couldn't exorcism anything else. So we're going to go ahead and throw defensive measures on my Berserk Jackal. I'm going to fuck back. We'll say have a good game. I'm going to remove my stuff here. Hmm? My wall of jackals? Yeah. Can I move through that Yes, thing? they do not count as models. Ignore it for even Yep. You can't play no, you can't stand on it, but everything else you can do to it just fine. Can't cast spells at that guy. You can cast spells at basically anything else in my army, but that guy. Base stealth? Or base stealth. Okay, base stealth. Have to have Isla's sight. Well, I can get within five from the arc node. Can you? Yeah. Wow. He runs, yeah, he runs enough. Yeah. That's fine. If you want to get that one. I don't know if I, well, I don't know if I really want to. That's fair. Um, okay. So let's bring all this back. One, two, three, four, five. I mismarked my fury. I, I had four beasts. They all ran. So I get seven. I cast two, two things. I will upkeep both. Uh, actually, I'm going to do, you wanna, do, you do your mirage before your control phase. No, you're not allowed to. Whoever's been doing that, well, at least for Grimkin players, cheating. Oh. It says in your it says in your control phase. Oh, so it has to be last. And it's the last thing that happens. Okay. Yeah. Now someone else's apparition may be different, but. Mm -hmm. But yes. So I'll upkeep that. The spell be apparition at, you must uh, pay the upkeep before you six. use it. I'm at six. Okay. I'm trying some. Let's do some measurements to make it interesting. So now I need nine. Great, so all four of the uh, winter core players in the meta play here. Correct. That makes it easier. Um, that is going to be 13. That's a 13. Yep. Don't even bother. Oh, okay. Well, it's a Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to do this guy. I'm missing to that. Area. Cool. He does not get there. He gets <laughs> six inches. Six inches. Okay. Right there. And then we'll do this guy at. Um, uh, we'll do it at your berserk guy. Cool. Works for me. Uh, it's gonna go nine. Uh, seven because he doesn't. Oh, because he's gonna gonna tag the rough terrain. Yeah. Cool. Works for me. All right. I'm not inclined to give you a heavy. And you shouldn't. You should not give me a heavy. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, do you mind if I turn her uh, in corporal? Sure. Cheater. 
Cheater, cheater, pumpkin um, eater. I'm a generous kind of guy. <laughs> Just kidding. I should have done that in maintenance, I think. It's either maintenance or control, one of the yeah. two. I forget exactly what the dreamer does. She's the one with Starcross, right? No. <laughs> um. Do do any of your these uh, remove from play? Um. No. Okay. I don't think anything in here removes from play, and I didn't rack Silence of Death. So everything that I will kill will grant you a corpse. Okay. And does anything have uh, Pathfinder innately, or they do? Pathfinder on charge. My Volcars can grant my Jack's Pathfinder. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yes. And now for the transition. Because I assume that was your next question. Yeah. Oh, and my Witches have Pathfinder, but if they're getting to you, other things are happening. And if you're joining us a little bit late, uh, just so you know what you're looking at here, this is a uh, Steamroller 24, uh, Scenario 2, the battle lines. Uh, this is still the preview rules. It's not the official rules. I don't know if, if, that's, uh, if this is how it's going to turn out in the end. But that's why if you look and see things a little goofy, that's why. There's a flag in the top left of your screen in one of the craters. That crater is actually the uh, scoring objective. There is a, uh, I think it's a 40 mil in the middle, 40 mil objective in the middle, the little treasure chest there. Uh, bottom left of your screen and top right, uh, there are two 20 mil objectives. And then down here somewhere, what was the flag? Oh, it's behind the thing with, with all the wings there. That cloud is also a flag, and so that cloud is an objective as what well. What are you looking at? Oh, range to uh, your mother. Um, control, control area. Oh, okay. I don't know yet. It's hard to tell. I don't play pirates. <coughs> Being intentionally dense. You don't have to try too hard. Watch here, you see Rob, our local Grimkin player, is measuring out what he wants to do. He knows he wants to kill Orgoth. He knows he wants to do it with efficiency. But how exactly? Sorry, that should have been on the. <laughs> should have been in the tray, Rob. It's all right. That's no all right. excuses. Are so bad we there can't see. There are no see excuses. Man. Still working on a solution that, but he did roll a six there in the tray. Is it fully within or just within? Fully within. That's fully within. Oh, okay. Yeah. Forgot that it's four inches, which is it's four. That's gross. The A good day going here. We've got, uh, let's see here, just about six full tables running. So many dudes. <sighs> got 14, yeah, 14 players here in the room tonight. Five games going at the moment. We'll see if another one gets started up here soon. And if these two would just kill each other already, we could get another game going here. God, that does. That actually hurts. What does? <sighs> Misplaying that. Oh. Um, Were you going to try an animus and run? 
Yeah, well, I'm, I'm probably am still going to Animus and Run. <laughs> Lord Dragon it slows Master, down thank your, you so um, much. Okay. Appreciate slows down that. Your, uh, I can hex blast it off. Yeah, take a shot. Awesome. Good for you. All right. <laughs> just, just letting you know. Dragon. <laughs> Master. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to Animus and run. Okay. And what's the range on his animus? Six inch. Six inches? Okay, so it's just going to catch my tyrant? Just your tyrant for now. Okay. Um... It's not in range. Not in range. You screw up a little bit of your placement? Yeah, a little bit. Well, I didn't do that. I just, uh, I was trying to get too much stuff done at one time. Oh. It happens. Okay. So we'll give him a corpse. Sounds good. Um, he will run. Isaiah, do like the corpse runjies. Right there. Did you all discuss how tall that uh, obstruction was? Does it block line of sight to everything, or? Will? How tall is that obstruction in the middle of the table? Uh, this obstruction? Yeah, did you all discuss that? It's uh, infinitely tall. <laughs> also, Greg, you can argue how big is the infinite that it is tall. Oh, which so some infinities are bigger than others. That is absolutely true. So I'll just let you decide that. Okay. Is it's it like two times infinity, or is it like a, like a normal infinity? Or it could be infinitely small. It's as big as the set of the real numbers. Oh, see, that's that's a smaller infinity. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, are the whole numbers or the natural numbers bigger in terms of the the set? The whole or the natural numbers? Mm -hmm. oh, I gotta remember which one includes zero. <laughs> whole numbers include zero. Yeah, then holes are bigger. Five plus one. Infinity plus one. I should know that better because, you know, I have a Three degree more. in that and I taught it for 10 years, but oh well. So many berserk targets. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be interesting. For sure. Oh, Isaiah went all the way over there. That makes sense. This is what we call a target-rich environment. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Well done, Will Goldstar. waiting for that engine to walk forward and touch that wall and make it go away. See if he makes it do that or not. <laughs> oh, and then he just throws terrain all over the table. That's what I believe in. You're up. Okay, cool. Um, we tried to get a Nuggies over at Warfare Weekend, but McDonald's see, uh, first put him in the bag. You've got three models contesting that. Two models contesting that. So if I play this turn right, I can score. Got to kill the clock, which is going to be problematic. Thank you, sir. Um, so as he's, as he's talking here, I'm pulling up uh, the preview scenario two for Battle Lines. What we're looking at here, what he's talking about. So he's so looking at some objectives out here, there. Two contesting models there. Every, uh, so if I play the turn right, I can score one, two, three points. If they secure a 30 zero. or 40 millimeter you're not objective, end up scoring that's worth a point. So scoring oh, the terrain is also I can score worth 40 a point. Or zero. But one of the coolest things that I like, in particular about Mark mm. uh, about Steamroller 24, is you cannot win on scenario on your turn. You have to win on your opponent's turn if it's a scenario victory. <laughs> Trying. That's why I have put the dice behind them. Exorcism time. falls off. Defensive measures falls off. Uh, Sabrath goes up to her seven. And then immediately pays two. One for Fog of War and the other for Redline. Uh, I don't know. I don't think. Do I feat for like more of a decisive type thing? Dreamer's control range is 12 or 14? 14. 14. 14? That entire line is in 14. I measured it. Okay. And uh, Labyrinth is if I end an advance in her control range? Correct. Okay. So, Zeph, good question. Um, <laughs> right now. And does it have to be um, have activates Kador, and ends or just ends Orgoth, any advance? Which are all. Um, I want to see if Perdition triggers. Focus it. factions. So, if you want to also get one that's a little different, you have the three focus factions. I would get a advances and ends faction. Is which would be okay. either the Brine Bloods or then, the Shadow Flame. Uh, okay, so then it gives minus two speed to everything or only when the, when the thing activates as well? When's, when does the minus two speed occur? Uh, any model initiating its, uh, getting their activations in the Warlock's control range. Okay, so Perdition movement before their activation is at full speed? Yes. Okay. Because they don't begin their activation. They don't begin their activation yet. So I'm going to have to be smart about this, and everything triggers ill omens. And I feel like if there was ever an ill omens turn to ill omens, it would be this ill omens turn. Yes. One could say this is the illest of omens. It is the illest of omens. I do not like it. Um, I think that means Sabrath's, yeah. Sabrath's going to decide not to defeat this turn, and we're going to start... Good, I didn't want to push that button with anyway. No matter where the rocks end. Yeah. Um. What is their defense? What is their defense? Hmm. I concur. That's how that stuck in my head. Me first in the Gimme Gimme's punk version. I am a rock. I am an island. <laughs> Wish you could see the players. There's smoke rising from Will's head right now. We'll start with the rocks. I'm going to see if this ends up being a bad decision. Um, this one back here is going to charge that dread rock. Sounds good. Um, yeah. His, 
his self right there. I trigger uh, Labyrinth. Not, That's fine. Um, fire, fire? They're flying. They don't take fire. Oh, they, oh yeah, because they fly over. They, they, they flap it. They're flappy birds. Yeah. Um, they just provide we're going to take Cav Charge mm -hmm. number one from... Oh, yeah. Right. Guy. Like Sorry about that. Um, I thought I changed it. From and then it this didn't rock into save. that dread rock right there. Uh, dread rock's defense is 13, sir. 13. Uh, I am a mat 8 cap charge, which will hit and it will crit. Uh, you are pitched back one inch, which is going to hit your buddy. Um, yeah, I agree. Both knocked down, so you don't nope, get tough. No knockdowns. Oh, that's right. Something drunk. It's within three, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you pitch him back into it? That's fine. <laughs> um, I will go ahead and make my three, four dice damage roll on that dread rot. Uh, arm 14. How 14? Not tough. Not tough. I will trigger ill omens. Cool. And I will trigger uh, a corpse. Cool. Uh, how 14 on that guy. Oh, actually, no. So that's both cards mm. triggered for the Grimkin. It's a collateral. Do I get gang on collaterals? Don't know. I don't That's a believe good so. You, it's not a. It's not you an suffer, attack roll. I you actually suffer just realized I'm playing ten roll. points up. Those rocks shouldn't exist. I thought I had them in the list. Wow. Hmm. Cheater. What would you like me to do? <laughs> Cheater. Uh, rack one of the lights. Which one? Uh, the berserk one. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Is I'll it rack, ten points? I'll rack the closest one to ten points, which is either the bloodthirst or the berserk one. I'll take the berserk one. Cool. I'll take it off the table. That's easy enough to do. <laughs> cheat. All so right. he started off the game by asking me when it was appropriate to cheat. Now. Now it's appropriate now. to cheat. Now. It's the first time. Uh, so huh. First blood to me. Yeah, I am. Uh, so that does not take a damage. <laughs> uh, that, so, so I'm sorry. Uh, so damage on him. Yeah. Nope. Uh, 14. Uh, I rolled double ones. It's, uh, it's still gonna crit. Uh, 14. No, actually equals. Yeah. Gold star definitely gets so, taken away from Will. I'll uh, we'll take our second cap charge into that one right there. Sounds good. Uh, I'm in defense 14 now. Uh, that's fine. I'm at eight and I rolled a six, so I'll hit and crit. I'll pitch him uh, two inches back. So and his there. buddy. Uh, four the, dice damage on the first red rot. Uh, you can go ahead and make a tough check. That's still going to be enough to crack. He is tough, however. Okay. Um, Next guy? Yep. But that's going to be enough to crack as well. Uh, the two bites up wouldn't be, but yeah. he is not tough. Uh, cool. I will gain another corpse. Cool. Uh, and then third charge from the, uh, the rock over there. And just to let everyone know, I am now adding ill omens into me. So... Uh, uh, five so, will miss. Yeah, it'll miss. Uh, I'm gonna move. You like uh, to, dodge? to me. Yep. That was this guy. I uh, know it was this guy. This guy. Uh, yeah. his, his he attacked yet? Yeah, he's attacked. Uh, let's go ahead and go real in deep right here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they will go uh, ahead and. Illumins uh, for Dreamer has a special ability. He'll take his second attack. Oh no, I missed my charge. Um, so he'll, they're done, and now I have to repo. So we'll there go ahead goes and repo first scoring attempt. that guy to there, it's fine. Uh, this guy to here, this guy to here. Well, so I did put him out of melee, so a, a spell might be able to just uh, crack him over there too. Especially now that he has dodged outside of no knockdown tough range. Um... We're going to call a tactician on this guy. So, precision strike. For those joining late, Run uh, him into we have a 75-point game. Sea Raiders, um, Sabrath versus Grimkin Dreamer. Dreamer won the roll. They are top of the turn. We are uh, in the bottom of two right now where Will, our Sabrath player, realized he was playing an 85-point game instead of a 75-point game and just pulled the light off the table to try and make it <laughs> Hmm. No wonder I thought I had so much. <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Okay. Should power it up as well. Let's see here. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Can I kill that clock? No. I don't know. Unless you can pin it down, clocks are hard to kill. Somehow um, pin the clock down. Take my it witches out. are all going to tow the cloud. And we're going to throw focus on that jackal. Yeah, good question. And two focus. Um, so on the points tire. there are. Within six? Um, everything is oh, worth were there so I mean, many. You can points. move them a little bit more. But. Nah. Yeah. So, example, okay. the three models in the bottom cool. left, the blue flying creatures, yep. those are called rocks. They are worth 10 points for those three models. Hmm. Um, the. Big heavy war beast um, in the middle of the table, the flying wings. It's a clockatrice. Uh, it is worth, I think, twelve points. I could be making that up. Um, every every everything on the board has a point value, and you have Sabra's seventy-five gonna go. points to spend. She's gonna walk her four. Um. And she's going to start yeah, by is. casting. So this is scenario two of the preview, uh, Battle Lines. Carnage. Thank you, 13 points. Carnage! And um, we're going to cast Perdition on that cast imp right there. If you want to pull up uh, and see, here's... What we're looking at here. So this is the battle line scenario. These can be found on the Privateer Press uh, community Let's forum see. board. Uh, that website has the first three of the scenarios. Uh, they spoiled those at Warfare Weekend. They are the preview rules, so they may change still before they get officially released in January. That's thirteen. Um. Hmm. This makes me think that I should have dropped Fog of War. Yeah. Uh, I have to boost. Because what's your defense? 13. Uh, now it's 15, because I'm shooting into concealment. 15, because you're shooting into concealment. <laughs> Need an 8. Uh, that'll hit you with an 8. So everybody says. Uh, armor, not a lot. Uh, 12. 12? 12. 12? Okay. Uh, he's dead. Uh, I rolled a 10. Yeah, I, no, I was looking for corpses. And the clock fell down. If it was a chicken, it wouldn't have done that. Um, after triggering Perdition, going to so walk. So he'll be minus two speed. The other ones will not. <coughs> Even on Perdition. Oh, yeah, because he Cause just gets minus two that speed. Doesn't care, doesn't, that doesn't okay. care. One of these um, days we'll get a uh, win for K Doran's. We're going to go ahead and <laughs> maybe after walk the this comes jackal. Out. That's my closest enemy. Yep. Eight inches to right outside of melee. Sounds good. Yeah, they sure do, Zeph. Um, they have uh, mostly the same rules. The stat line changes mm. slightly from army to army. It's usually def 18, okay. or sorry, def. Uh, 14, arm 18. Kador changes that to 1220. I believe is that. I believe that's what it is. I'm trying to remember. Um, and then, and then we're going to power spell Sabrath. Different for every faction. So there's one rotating rule that gets changed. That was you sitting at one. For everyone. That was definitely something to consider. Yeah, at Warfare Weekend, one of the Signar players actually uh, played Athena with Ooh, two of the blimps. Uh, and that was a scary list. Uh, let's see. Volcar is going to walk to here <laughs> to give him yeah, exorcism. That's what I was talking about. What's exorcism give? Uh, it's the spell warden. Oh, got it. And removes enemy upkeeps. Yeah, so they, they blow up with Kador. They don't have um, any enemy, enemy upkeeps on him. I, I haven't have bought them yet for Dusk, um, but for Dusk, they get uh, Poltergeist as their rule. So if you they go up to death 14, and then if you shoot and if you attack and miss them, they push you back an inch.
Uh, we're going to give two more focus to my Bloodthirst Jackal. Right, right. And then we're going to um, start by charging you with. Yeah, but that's dusk. Mm. Everything is uh, base six. They struggle in that department. Start by charging you with my jackal. So he's going to be minus two speed. He's within. I he's within? It. Okay, cool. Um, so he goes down to speed four. Isn't that Pathfinder? Mm. So speed four to speed two. You can see charges five inches. That's not going to get him within range. So that's fine, which is okay, because I have this second Volcar here. I can walk here and give him tune up. So he immediately becomes unstationary slash stood up and uh, gains Pathfinder. Sweet, sweet Pathfinder. That means now he only goes down to speed four, and he'll charge into your Cockatrice. Sounds good. Uh, what is your defense, sir? Uh, you will gain Corrosion. I will gain Corrosion, and that's fine. I am okay with gaining Corrosion. Uh, clock is sitting at defense 14, sir. Okay, I need sixes then. Uh, this is a charging with my mace. Was it one to charge? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm aggressive. I don't pay to charge. Uh, yep, sounds good. So I need a six to hit. Uh, that'll hit, but no crit. Why three dice? I boosted the hit. Oh, got it. Um, uh, this is a PAL 14 mace. Talk to me real quick. Need to check something? Yeah. Back to you. Okay. Uh, armor of 19. 19? Okay, uh, so this is dice off five. Uh, that'll be seven damage to the one. Does that break anything? Nope. Cool. Uh, we'll take my secondary attack and we'll boost a hit. Sounds good. Well, actually, I'll just take the six. I'll hit you with a seven. Yep. I'll boost the damage. This is POW 12. Arm 19. Dice off seven. No damage. Failed to crack. Um, were you checking the aura on the... Uh, yeah, on the clock, on, on the cart. That's fair. Um, let's see here. I'm then going to use my repo three card. Because so I used power swell already. Going to use hit and run. Move him three, much, three inches back to stay in the corrosion, like a good jackal. Like a good jackal. Uh, a good jackal. That is a uh, very common thing. Curious, Kate. The uh, I I like to learn my faction that I play, and if I can um, learn my faction really well, my tyrant's gonna charge you. I just then ask a lot of questions against other people's factions. Um, right to, he's also gonna gain corrosion. He's going to be, so he'll minus be minus four, four speed. Minus, uh, does he Pathfinder innately? He's got Relentless Charge. Yeah. So he goes down to speed one. And these two four you can inches. hear uh, play really good, really close to uh, open game, which is what you oh, should yeah, charges do. Four. All information I was him three. in the game. I was about to cheat public. myself. Um, you, if someone, it's fine. I'll you don't get right have to, to there. volunteer any information. That sounds like also get corroded. If someone asks any questions, you do have Try to once again, the okay information with. Uh, as best as your ability um, uh, because it is an open game. Game, so I there need should fives never be on you now. Question about what anything can do. Why fives? Uh, I got carnage up. Sounds good. Um, it, oh, am I in carnage? You are in carnage. Yeah, she's a fourteen though, right? She's a twelve. Oh, she's twelve. Ah, yeah. Got it. Cool. Um, Defense fourteen. Not not playing Kistra. Sorry, my bad. Fourteen. Uh, we'll boost a hit anyway. <laughs> I know how I do on fives sometimes. That'll hit. Yep. This is a pow eighteen. Arm nineteen. Uh, so dice minus one. Uh, five damage to the one. That'll uh, crack that it, will crack. One, two, three, four, five. Clock to me. Uh, yep. Where would you like to Two inch clock? reach. Two inch reach. Um, ideally, I'd like to come right there and be outside of two. I am. So let's go ahead and do that, right? Like that. Oh, man. 
I'm going to ask one favor of you. What's that, sir? Which is that my tyrant ended up here. That is fine. Okay. That, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's, um, not, that's not a game state changer. Back to you. All right. Uh, he's going to take his claw attack into this cask imp right here. That's defense of uh, 13, sir. I'll hit you with a six. Uh, armor 12. Uh, pow 15. I gained a corpse. Should have been pow 12, but whatever. I'll take that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and overtake an inch. Put me back within two inches of your clockatrice. Uh, and then I can't do a head attack, so I'm going to buy another flail. I'm going to ask for a five. That's 14. Ah, Jesus. Uh, that'll hit with an eight. Uh, I am going to be sitting armor 21 now. Okay. Dice uh, in the box. Dice off three. Uh, two. To the two. I'm rolling like garbage on damage rolls. Um, got Tyrant's dead next turn. There's pretty much nothing I can do about that. Other than dig deeper. Um, this jackal is going to charge that cask imp right there. Sounds like awesome sauce. Um, he's within six inches of your clock. Uh, and he's within 14 of the dreamer, so he gets minus four speed. He yeah. then gets plus two speed. And does have points. Because uh, he's got bloodthirst, and he gets plus two speed because he's redlined. In a casual game, so he gets game, the normal would, amount of charge. Uh, always that he would tell get. my Sounds opponent. Good. So uh, exactly, he'll charge nine uh, down to seven. I have because I don't want to do a gotcha right or do anything goofy like Sounds that like on awesome a casual sauce. game. Um, However, in a tournament setting, so you answer uh, the question. He's going that was to asked. boost his charge attack into your cast game. And so if a opponent Defense asks, 14, you know, what is this Kay. creature's uh, he's speed? Mat you can say, well, he's speed six. six. So he can walk six inches. Up to. Uh, but if they ask, what is that his means maximum? Mad I'm sorry, the cast game? No, no, no. Different sorry, not that, that, that guy. That's what you have to do what they're doing right here. Yeah, as well. the tap. Walk six, charge nine. Defense 14. Two. Defense 14. So Mad his eight. maximum threats. Uh, uh, need a. So you answer the question that's asked in the tournament setting, but in the casual setting, need a six. Give them everything. I'll get there. It's just with, more uh, with an eight. Uh, armor of pretty low. Uh, 13, 14. Uh, will of 14. Plus 14. whatever my power is, kill him. Yeah. Uh, this guy is going to gain a corpse. Okay. Uh, he's going to overtake. Uh, yeah, difficult terrain. Uh, I get a minimum of an inch anyway. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. So I'm just saying you get one inch then. Yeah, overtakes one inch. Oh. It's not sidestep. Ah. Um, and then he'll boost his secondary attack into that other cast game. Uh, this, this cast game here? Yeah. Defense 12. Okay. Uh, uh, two or 13. I'm at six, so I need a seven. Get there. This is uh, pal 14. He's dead. Uh, he's very he's dead. gonna gain that corpse. Okay. Um, he's gonna gain that corpse. Got 20 bodies in his bag. You forgot to power up. That's really close. Ah, uh, I think I'm just out. That's unfortunate. Um, that's fine. My tyrant is going to get himself, I think, right to here. Mulgrith is going to sprint into cover. Um, hmm. Still got a model contesting that. Got a whole bunch of models contesting that. My tyrant's gonna die next turn. A lot of stuff's gonna go up in smoke. I really should have played with all the models that I had in my list. <laughs> that would have been pretty sweet. Okay. I also spent way too much time on this turn. Dang it. 
All right. Uh, I will bring all of my focus fury back. Yep. Um, I will not upkeep. Oh, yeah. Uh, I score pause. one, you score none. And move one. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Towards me. So you score one, right? Yep. That's how it is? Yep. Awesome. Unpause. Back to, Back to me. I so will be scoring two this turn. Oh, him. My problem Maddox. is that I think in a normal game, Sabrath might just die. Six, seven. But I don't know. We'll see. Am I over that? I can't. Yes. Do you, mean, do you want me to measure two? Like that. And I am going to. So I am going to go ahead and upkeep that. Mirage. That's just a mirage. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm going to drop the cloud. Or she has to be alive right now, so that's there. So slam him into them. Take some attacks. Oh, okay. So then, then apparition goes. He tucks all Looks the good. way into that, which then gets me even a smidge past that. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, not enough to get your caster though, which that yeah, actually would. I didn't think Isaiah was gonna get to that. That would have ended the game. Yeah, <laughs> or or been really close. Yeah. Okay, um, what do I want to do for interesting parts? Oh, How do to I... me really quick. Three to the one. Okay. okay. Um, so is he going to be within 10? He'll be within 10 of a couple of them. I'm going to set a set a bunch of them on fire so that I hit better. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, Fortune's Path is not up, so just ill omens. So let's kill some dudes. Okay. So these guys are going to charge. Sounds good. Okay, charge target on the first. You got it. Uh, I am a, um, I'm a f six to a seven, I think. Yeah, six to a seven. So six to a seven, uh, defense on the first guy. Fortune path is not up now. Uh, def 13. Def 13, so I need six. Mm -hmm. That's hits. Yep. Pow 10. Yep. Armor, uh, armor 16. Dice minus six. Uh... That's enough. That's six, yeah. Which one was it? Th this one. Yeah. Uh, He's in the bag. In the bag, sir. Yeah, one we'll go. Get me in the bag. Yeah. That's, that's we'll go this one. Yep. Hits. Hits. Dice minus six. Uh, got him. Yeah. Another Get me in the bag. We like the bag. And him on him. Yep. Hey, six. Miss. Miss. Okay. Uh, that was actually worse than a six, but I missed it anyway. Ooh, logs yeah. are fun. They okay, teach that's, uh, that's actually interesting. And Rob, um, that was one of our favorite quotes we came back with from War for a weekend is, get thee in the bag. Get thee in, get the, the, bag. in the bag. Okay, let's go ahead and try to roll the five, but not the six. 
because it's hilarious. Roll the five, but not the six. Oh, I meant to say I, sc I scored two because I forgot to score my flag. Score two. Sounds good. Yep. So two so, to zero. Can I move a nine? I can't move a nine and hit. Yeah, I can't move a nine and hit. Yeah, you have to roll a ten. So I have to roll a ten. So then let's... Do you want to just try and kill the rock? I don't think I can kill the rock without killing my own dudes. Oh, well, you only need one of them to score the zone. <laughs> That's true. And I do kind of want to kill the zone. Uh, so let's do anything... Anything but. Yeah. And then let's try and position it as far as away... As far away from your own guys as possible. My guys as possible. So I think... One guy is gonna sacrifice. Actually, he's you already want, on fire. You want fire. to kill the dude that's on yeah, fire. He's yeah, already yeah, on yeah. fire. Mm, I think he's on. Yeah, yeah. I, we'll call it that. You're just out over there. I think because it's a large base, you won't be out. But I mean, we can measure it yeah. if the rock dies. Yeah, I mean. He, so, mm -hmm. so I, I'm gonna do this. So like that. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, because I think I, the, the way that you moved that, I, I had to move him pretty damn close. Yeah. So. so we'll go there. I blew up. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All that choice for nothing. Oh, man, I love cast games. You have to choose exactly where it looks good. Mm -hmm. you, have you, have to to you have to choose the direction. You have to choose the direction. Um, you choose a straight line that ends somewhere. And then you roll. And then you, if, if you're anything like Rob, you roll sixes, and everything blows up. You'll... He'll probably end up dismounting Isaiah this turn nice. with his own cast gimps. No, I'm going to charge Isaiah first. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah's, Isaiah's going first. Um, uh, at least just get the cast gimps out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, bam. No, 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 no. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> the gripperoni. I actually don't know. I don't know if you heard that I cheated. <laughs> I know. All right. Uh, I actually uh, had let's try and hit him. In, and they weren't in the list. I miss. Okay. Pow, six. Dice minus ten. Nothing. Uh, D3. Uh, one. Woo. Pow? Hmm? How'd you make up this one? Uh, I let Rob pick a jackal to remove from the game. Because the rocks had activated. And that's when I went to look at their stats, and then I couldn't see their stats because they weren't in the list. They are. How many the jackal was eight. So you still cheat. Yeah. The rocks are dead. I also had a. I, I got punished for it. I had a terrible turn. You're still two points up. So we're activate him. He's going to give two corpses to Isaiah, and then he's going to charge that rock. <laughs> right along that line. See? I asked Rob, open-ended, what he wanted to do, and he wanted to remove a jackal. So we removed a jackal. I'm not gonna lie, you have lost this game already. Yes, I have lost this game because I cheated. You cheated so bad. I did. I included uh, 10 points in my list. I am a mat, mat of six. Yeah. Um, Death 13, you 7. 13. That's a hit. Hey, you hit. Armor 16. Pow, 10. Dice minus six. Dice minus six. Uh, two, points. two points. He's got sir. three boxes left. Okay. Then let's go ahead and charge. Uh, we'll charge the head with Isaiah. Cool. And I'm just within two of him. Of the Volcar? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Here. Can you measure it? Yeah, yeah. thanks, man. Uh, so into the heavy. Into the heavy. Uh, are, you, are you threshering? Yeah, thresher, of okay. course. Uh, what's his defense, though? Uh, and I should 11. be within two of him as well. Sorry. Should be like that. Okay. The triple measure? Yeah. Looks good. Okay. Um, so... Uh, I'm sorry, defense 11? Yep. Hey, I hit. Uh, on 12. 12, uh, I'm a 7, so I need a 5. Okay. Or nope. 
Two dice. Two dice. Uh, hit. Yes. Thirteen. And on the little dude. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. uh, seven, so need a six. Hits. Yeah, you do. Uh, okay, on the charge attack, Weapon Master Pal 13. Okay, dice off six. Dice off six. Let's go with nine to the two. You got it. On the non charge attack, on the light jack. Mm -hmm. 17. Dice uh, off four. Dice off four. No damage. Nothing. Uh, and then on the little dude, Pal 13. Pal 14. Uh, or, or 14. Dice plus one. Uh, or dice minus one, but nine points. Uh, I will turn him. If he is within 14, he is. I'm gonna turn him into an arc node. Right there. Here, I can get it for you. Sure, sure. Ding, 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 ding. I like arc nodes. Me too, dude. And I gain a... I, you don't gain a corpse. I don't gain a corpse because I use it. So I'm gonna buy an attack against the light. Okay. Def 12. Uh, yeah, against the light. The light is the arc node. I'm gonna buy an X. Uh, so it's a, uh, I'm a seven, I need, I need a six. Miss, I'll buy an attack against the light. Need a six. Hits, pal 13. Dice off four. Dice off four. Uh, four points to the one. And I will buy my final attack. Need a six, that's a hit. Yeah, it is. Dice, Dice off four. four. Uh, three points. To the five. Okay, I will not complain about my damage rolls anymore. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, I, th I think I'm okay. Isaiah will. Do you want to repo? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Um, into my caster. Into my. So caster. he's already disputing your terrain, right? He is. Yes. I just need one person. You need one thing within two inches. Yeah. So we'll just go backwards a little bit. Get out of the way. Okay. Uh, I've got to kill that light. Isaiah is still contesting. Yeah, you only have to be within two inches of the terrain piece, not in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just in case it matters. Burn. Catapulting those guys forward. Wants to make sure the world burns. He, did. he did remember he's a phantasm. Um, he has the arc note on me right now. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll put D3 dudes out. Two dudes. Two dudes. Two dudes. Two dudes. I have lots of fun sound effects. Uh, throwing a bomb at that guy is useless. Sometimes I can sound like this. Okay. Sometimes like this. Which guy? But they get really uh, annoying really fast. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to kill that guy first. But he's the only guy who could reasonably do that. Mm -hmm. Is it that I cheated? No. Oh. <laughs> I just figured that would immediately be the joke of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that I cheated and I'm a cheater. Yeah. I am very much still a cheater. A dirty cheater. So the problem is I have it, the rocks in every list. Uh, yeah. Step two, play play Orgoth. She's a five. Let me keep Prey where it's supposed to be. Okay, so she can get to the claw. Okay, so we'll go on to that. I am a uh, mat seven to a defense what? Um, to a defense, you're not charging? No. Okay, uh, defense 12 then. Defense 12, so need a five. Okay. That's it. Uh, pal, 16, 17, 18. Uh, dice off one. Uh, six to the four. Second attack. Uh, misses. I will Line absolutely attack. give uh, chat sound effects for their awesome jokes. Hit, oh, crap. Hits. I'm an idiot. Yeah. It's fine. 
dice minus one. Uh, seven points to the six. For you, you forget Cariana? Uh, no, I forgot to uh, manifest destiny. Oh, yeah, you did. Hits. Dice minus one. Uh, seven points to the one. Did I crack the freaking shield off yet or no? Uh, yes. Okay. By an attack. Uh, seven to a 13 to me six. Hits. Yep. Dice plus one now? You're, you, he's in a box. She killed him. Okay, now remember to manifest, Rob. Manifest is an important part it of is, your kit. It is the dreamer's kit. It is her feet. Her feet is manifest destiny. Uh, so the dreamer is going to move back to here. Okay. She's going to cast manifest for three. That seems pretty good. One, two, and then my entire list gets murdered. Um, she is then going to... Um, she'll cast the cover spell. Oh, Will doing out? his best queen impersonation. Well, no, I, didn't, I didn't upkeep it. I just didn't remember. Oh, okay. Um, we'll cast the cover spell back on my guy. Right on the skin and moans? Yeah. That seems like a good idea. Make him just that much harder. Yeah. Okay. I can yank him out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I'm going to try and put a crab over there, but... Oh, that seems like a good idea. Um... Kiriana, gonna go one, two, to there. She's gonna give him rage. I just want. I, I had I had all the way to the okay, wall. Okay, cool. Sorry, I just didn't. As imprecise. Yeah. So all the way to the wall. Because you did there. use like three inches of movement before you did that one stretch. Yeah. So I. I so here. She was standing right there. Mm-hmm. One inch to clear the wall. One inch to give there. Okay, yeah, four inches. Yeah, there you go. That's why I was, I was sloppier on that movement. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. He's just gonna walk to there. Be good. Um, I can't <laughs> charge if that guy is engaging me. No, you may not. Do I really care to charge? I don't know. Somewhat. Um, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, I just don't care. I just don't care to charge. Uh, so I'm player. So the clock will activate. Okay. It will heal D3. Mm -hmm. Heals two. One, two. Clock will just flap, flap, flap. Uh, I speed of six, so I'll just get within an inch okay. of both of these models. I become corroded. You're, you fly. You don't become corroded. Oh, I don't? Yeah, I'm flying. And you're still with Okay. No, that's the wrong one. I am a mat of six against this light jack. Okay, def 12. Def 12. Um, uh, so I need six. Yeah. Hits. That's a hit. I am pow, this is the big tail, of course, uh, pow 14 to 16. Mm -hmm. Armor what? Uh, armor 17. Armor 17, so dice minus one. Uh, yes, yeah, 10. 10. To the two. Uh, this will be a claw now. Movement's need a, out. Need a, uh, anything but yeah. hits. Uh, this is dice minus two, because I'm a 15. Mm -hmm. uh, dice minus two is four points to the two. Nothing but consistency. Last claw attack is a hit, and dice minus two. Uh, five points to the three. Oh, okay. Well, hey, that, that first battle 10 damage is pretty good. Uh, I don't think you were within 14. Nope, that was, model was not. So then I will buy an attack against the heavy. Mm -hmm. um, defense 11, so I need five. That's a yeah. hit. Uh, this is the tail uh, chain weapon, so no shield if you got I it. I don't have a shield. Pal 16. Uh, dice off three. 
Dice off three. I will boost. No. Yeah, no. Dice off three. Uh, dice off three is six points to the two. Movement's out. I will buy another attack. Need a five. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, dice off three. Nine. Nine to, to the, the four. Okay, only left and right are up now. <laughs> um, God, do I just wipe it? Good know. luck with the Brine Bloods painting. Uh, I, I was so. talking to... Okay. An attack. Who was I talking to? Charles Foster. Uh, Charles Foster was at Warfare Weekend. Actually, he was the, one of the studio painters for yeah, Fabricate Fine Press. Um, really cool guy. He's a lot of fun to talk Hits. to. Um, and dice his Brine Bloods mm -hmm. looked amazing. But uh, uh, so many eight. details. Ooh. If you want yeah, to spend eight, the time on them, the there's so many I'll details, turn him into so many a little barnacles and things okay. all over those models. You. you could totally right, ignore right, it, lean over there. it, um, and just ignore the details. It still looks great. All right. But if you um, want to cool, pick cool. out everything, they look amazing. That's the bulldoze guy, right? Yeah, that's the bulldoze guy. Cool. Um, this guy is going to move back this way. Okay. Bravely ran blow up. away, away. Uh... I'm going into the terrain, so yeah, so he just goes to right there. Um, this guy will move to uh, two inches of the terrain. Two inches. And I will give myself cover. Okay. If you want to spend $120, or sorry, $1,200 on that, you go for it. <laughs> This guy is gonna He's gonna run that way, like right through that objective. Okay. Uh minus two for speed, but I don't actually even hit it. So I go six inches. Or no, I go I go four to right there. Okay. Uh he's gonna go and he's gonna go right through that path right there. Okay. He blows up. Pow twelve on him. Does that hit Cariana? Uh no. He was not there. That was the dude that was here. If I picked him up, then I'll I'll, yeah. I'll do it. It's so pow twelve. Uh, no damage. Mm -hmm. Pow twelve. She is just dead. That is a dead Cariana. Uh, I'll gain the corpse cars. actually on that one. Um. Okay. Um. He is not activated. Um. I'm going to go right along that line. I'll be minus two on the speed. Okay. Uh, so six. Okay. Right there. Um, he will go. Very dead. Died to a clock. With manifest. And enraged. And the clock is not clear on the screen yet because mm -hmm. it's on that top-down view. Uh, but at the beginning of the game, the two players did decide that they would play on clock, uh, but not set it as a win condition. Uh, the tail is the changed. current time is 541. The tail is the highest power attack, right? 541 for Grimkin. Uh, I score a 1 to your 1. Score for uh, three to your 2. 2. Yeah. To my 2. You got a unit here and then two models there. Yeah. And I get mine. Yep. I don't get this here. Uh, yeah, it's two to four. So I'm still up by two. Wait, you didn't get... You scored one. Oh, yeah, I scored two. Yeah, two to zero. I scored one, and you scored two, so I'm up one now. Two to three. So you scored two last turn. Yes. You scored, scored one, one this, this turn, so now you're three, three total. And I scored two, so it's three to two. Yeah, three to two. All right. There we go. So I'm up one. You're up. Up one, and quite, quite a bit on clock. Okay. We're not upkeeping Fog of War. We can't upkeep Redline because it's gone. Precision Strike is a, a turn thing, so whatever. Tune Up is gone. I still have a Volcar. I have my Drag Tyrant. I have this unit with the banner. Um, no. 
you will stay alive. Oh, pick an objective. Oh, yeah, toss. Um. Oh, it totally does. So many players, especially the players, move get clocked. Three inches. three inches. There's been many times. So it has I've, to move uh, three. Like I can't the list kind of move it three. No. To not clock I, I don't believe the scenario. Here, I'll, I'll read it really quick. It says three inches towards their opponent's table. It does not say up to. Oh, actually, that's a solo one? Yeah. I'll make you move. <laughs> um, okay. So then you'll need to move that one back. Yeah, I'll need to move that one back if I do it. Um, that's in some of those uh, Jack and Beast heavy lists. Come Chris Mulgrath, you don't, uh, you don't honestly care. You'll two, just follow rock in like yeah. four or five, six beasts. So I'm going to go there. Some of the Cater Heavy me. Beast list, same thing. Just Back to you. Okay, time so I have one, two, three models contesting here. I have no models contesting here. What? Um, you have all this crap here. Okay. Sabbath gets her seven focus back. I need to be quick about this turn. Um, six focus. Upkeep's nothing because there's nothing to upkeep. Um, Sabbath is going to go first. Um, she is going to... Um, feet and immediately pop Carnage. Um, we're going to pop Arcane Forces uh, to get plus range on spells. She is going to charge um, here to Isaiah. Uh, she is Matt 9, you're deaf what? Uh, deaf 13. F13, I need a four. I'll get there with an eight. This is a POW um, 14. Uh, armor of 18. Uh, dice off four. Uh, that'll be 11, so seven boxes. Okay. Um, I'm going to then cast Perdition on him. Um, on and him? Yeah, on him. And do... You don't kill a model with perdition. I understand. Okay. Uh, I will auto-hit you because I have Witch Mark on you. And I will boost damage. Arm 18. Uh, that's a 15 for damage roll. Okay. She'll take her second swing into him. Uh, defense 13. Uh, Matt 9 still. Hits. Uh, Arm 16 now. Uh, now pow 14 still. So dice off 2. That'll be 10 damage. Uh, I'll gain a corpse. And I don't is he think tough? He, I'm pretty sure he's not tough. He okay. is tough. He is not, not tough. tough. Uh, she'll overtake back an inch. Um, we're going to cast Crippling Grasp for free on your Clockatrice. Um, Defense 13. We're going to boost the hit. That'll hit. Um, and then 11 inches. We're going to cast Red Line on that guy. And then... Um, because he died, we're going to flip prey to your skin and bones over here. Sounds good. Um, and then we're going to cast a free hex blast at this guy. Um, uh, defense 13. Uh, we're going to boost the hit. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, armor of 16. Um, we'll boost damage. This is a POW 13. 
Um, so dice off three, that'll be eight damage. Um, she'll buy an attack into that cast gimp. Defense 12. Uh, Matt nine. That'll hit. Power 14. 11. Dead. Uh, that'll be a corpse token. Okay, she'll overtake again. Uh, he's gonna call tactician. Or actually, sorry. Okay. Uh, he is gonna call tactician, and then he's gonna charge your um, big boy over there. Plushy. So if you kill Plushy him, Abdul. I will uh, pop all um, upkeeps within eight inches. Uh, oh, he pops up keeps when he dies. Yep. Okay. Um, five inches. Five inches. I don't think five there's inches. any upkeeps within five. I have crippling grasp within five. That is correct. So maybe not. Uh, oh yeah, and she's also just gonna free cast a fog of war. Um, and then does she have anything else that she wants to cast? Redline, carnage. Yeah, she cast every single one of her spells. Um, then my war witches are going to walk and walk. Sorry, I'm gonna walk a little bit closer. Um, that one's gonna cast deathly power. Um, this one's gonna go over here. Um, Matt six to eight. Uh, Twelve. Hits. Uh, it's pal uh, 10. 11. Dead. I did feet. Uh, this one into that one. Uh, Matt 8. Hits. Kills. Um, and then these witches are going to walk 6 this way. Uh, one to here, one to here. Empower twice on my jack over here. Um, yeah. And then uh, he's going to call Tactician and charge a clock. Um, Zeph, are you talking about uh, how we actually do the stream, the stream setup? Uh, he'll become corroded. Uh, I do become corroded. We've got a lot of corrosion going on this game. We do. The only problem is that nothing yeah, that gets corroded been, um, is ever going to live to see corrosion. A long time happen. in the making. One of um, our locals is actually he's Matt a machinist. Nine. Defense thirteen. Uh, oh, actually, sorry, Matt eleven. Made our uh, crippling grasp we use. Or, uh, uh, it's a big I only needed those structure. two. I'll take the four. Um, so yeah, which will still hit you regardless. One uh, This is a pow. Twelve up to a, fourteen um, weapon master. Or up to sixteen weapon master. Arm eighteen. Two by four table, um, folding collapsible table. Uh, that we have a monopod that screws into the uh, table so frame. Dice, uh, you said arm and everything arm spiders uh, off of that dice monopod. Off it's kind of cool looking. So two, five, seven, uh, eleven damage to the three. But that's tech wise, pop, pop, um, the main camera that's overhead, the top down camera, that's an Insta 360 link camera. Um, it's the smallest camera on that we have here, but it is the best camera that best we have. Three. It is amazing. I love that little camera. Okay. Um, and then we have a series of webcams. Uh, he'll take his There's second deck into you. And then we are rocking a uh, road uh, 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 roadcaster Pro Armor 20 and um, for our soundboard. I am two pow less, so just pow 12 now on the shield. Uh, and your armor 20, you said, so dice off eight. And then the, my no awesome microphone here. Um, um, this is a blue. I can't remember what my the official is name of charge it is. My is. SR or something or other. Um, its model is A00111. Uh, Matt 7. Defense 13. Uh, up to actually Matt 9. So needing a 4. So when the game's over. That'll hit. This is AP9. I can actually. Uh, um, that I'm sorry, AP? Top down yeah, camera. AP. So it's 9. It's a built in gimbal. 9 to 11. It? Okay, so, so I'm actually, dice off two. Uh, move that gimbal around. Uh, I'm gonna give him grievous wounds, by the way. Uh, behind the curtain. Um, because that's my last card for the turn. Um, dice off two. Uh, that'll be six, ten, thirteen, eleven to the three. That's a dead clock. Uh, no worries, yeah. it'll be in the. The full uh, card killed the thing. Uh, move it down. Let's go. Severus in the video. Severus might still be, be dead next YouTube turn. Or, um, Twitch for a couple weeks and then um, I'll be on YouTube after that if you want to catch the end of it. My um, uh, unit I will here. Bring all 
three back. And then uh, our dice trays. Um, my brother actually made these for us. These are some really sweet seat. canary wood dice trays. Um, and then on the bottom of the dice trays, uh, the base is actually raised. I don't think slightly. I can. And underneath That's them fine. is all Velcro. Um, so then they actually just Velcro to the table now. Yeah, yeah, YouTube will have it. Uh, once we post that later today or tomorrow, it'll have that at the end. Make some room for my banner. Um, <laughs> I forget your hours ahead of us is getting later for you. Uh, seven into your thirteen. It's gonna moment. Needing a six. We'll get there with a six. This is pal uh, thirteen. Arm eighteen. Arm eighteen. You say. Um, dice off five. That'll be four damage to the three. Got it. Uh, and then I'll take uh, one attack. Hits. Um, how 12, 13, so another dice off five. That'll be another four to the two. Uh, and then I will. Yeah, we were using a to tripod go. for a long time, and um, that worked well. He's um, going to go ahead and run 10. But the tripod set up uh, down to eight. use another table, so it took up a, a um, gaming space. That we other that people uh, were no. wanting to use, so He's we're trying to, to make a smaller Back footprint. To you. Pause. That we could yeah. do, um, and oh, so that's where. So, are. I think you score two again, and I score one. I score two. You do score one, um, and I'm just going to continue to have you move this. Three inches this way. Go get it. Probably. Okay, uh, so real quick, did you get the points? I so did. it's five to, five to three. three? Five to three. Five yep. to three. Which means on my turn, if I let you score two, um, I, and I don't score more, I lose. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, actually, uh, wait, one. I think you score an additional. I, score, I think you score an additional um, one. Because I don't have anything contesting that. And that's, oh no, your, your entire unit. Yeah. I left that guy alive for a reason. And uh, cool. victory here is All right. up by three go. points, right? Yep. Cool. Fire. Do stuff. Out. Goes out. Fire. Out. Oh, you lucky bastard. Uh, Corrosion? Corrosion. There. Takes a point. Okay. If Will scores one point and is un unanswered on your turn, he wins. Yes. If I score one uncontested point. And by contested, I just mean Rob also scoring a point. So the only thing that really matters is... It didn't go with the rock, and I probably should have, but I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's, you make Oh, yeah, I'm aware decisions. of what's about to happen. Uh, so I'm five. I charge eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, I got there. Okay. So she'll go in corporal. Sure. Uh, I have four minutes, so that's, I think, what I do. She'll go in corporal. Okay. She'll move... Uh, six. Okay. Let's get to there. Uh, she'll cast Manifest Destiny for three. You got it. Oh, I wait. I got, I got to pull my fury off. Oh, yeah. Pull the fury off there. Boop, boop, boop. Three. And then I'll cast that three. One, two, three. No upkeeps on this one, so I'll have four on me. One, two, three, four. Um... And she'll just leave that on her, and we'll see if I can kill you with a dude. With a, a singular dude. We How are many down to do you have? Two. 345 to 437. Uh, and you're minus on the damages, right? And the 340 uh, is defense. counting. Uh, 15. Armor? 16. Well, that's going to be close. Uh, Manifest Destiny I, should help you out. Can I, can I help myself out anyway? Uh, I'm going to try and zap that guy. Okay. I'll boost to hit. Well, uh, no, depth 15. Uh, I'm a 7. Uh, you miss a 15. I hit, but I crit. 
So Wait. he's gonna move. Okay, back. really, really quick. Why are you rolling extra dice? Because I get to uh, boost after the fact. Oh yeah, future sight. Cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna move you back, and what's his mat on her? <laughs> Five. Five. Uh, need defense. a ten. You need a ten. Need a ten. Miss. No. Okay. That was awesome. That would have been hilarious. Yeah. Okay. Now let's charge. Two and a half minutes to run that. One to charge. I'm mat six to uh, seven. I you triggered. Need, you need a. You need a nine. No, I never triggered fortunes. No. Yeah, I never triggered fortunes. So I'm going to boost hit. I have. I don't think I've missed an attack this game. You have not missed. Oh, an I missed a five on the guys, but you didn't trigger it. Two and a half minutes left. Uh, that's a hit. Yeah, it is. Uh, powering strength on the charge is going to be uh, 19. You got it. Uh, it's dice plus three. Dice plus three. Drop the lowest. Uh, 16 points. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a focus and uh, I'll take 11 damage. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to boost the next attack. Yeah, it seems fine. It seems great. Uh, An eight hits. Eight hits. Oh, no, you said you're Matt six. Matt six. You need a nine. Need a nine? Yeah. Um, well, then we're going to have to hard roll some nines. Buy and boost? No, buy. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Buy. I do have six boxes left. Oh, wait. I have six boxes left in your dice I, plus I, three. I rolled too few dice there. Uh, Why? Oh, because you boosted. Yeah, because I boosted. Ah. So I had a two. Can I roll better than a two? Roll three. I rolled yeah, three. Fine. Boost the damage. Okay. Well, actually, if you if you had boosted that, you would have rolled a minimum of a nine, because you had an eight already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So well, you were no, fine. No, I had two, two, six. Yeah, two, two, six. So I had so, to roll three. No, no, no. If you rolled another two, because you rolled two few dice. Oh yeah. Right? There you go. Yeah. yeah. You're fine. So you, you hit anyway. Uh, and then. So. Boost the damage. Oh, you're just boosting damage. Okay. Cool. Uh, dice plus three, sixteen. Yeah. There good go. game. <laughs> ah. And just like oh, yeah. that, the cheater loses. Oh, yeah, I cheated, so I lose. Uh, Did you have Cariana? Did you cheat back? <laughs> I cheated back. No, no, no. Oh, I shake did. my hand, sir. So, wait, wait. So, so, subtract two damage from each of those attacks. Uh, yeah, so, I'm still very dead. Yeah, yeah I'm still very dead. dead. How did I, why did I think? Because you blew her up. Because you, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I think it was good. The, 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 the reason why I called you out on that is because <laughs> the one that was here walked this way because he couldn't have walked through the thing. Yeah, yeah. So the one that was closer, which was definitely uh, within two of carry on, yeah. blew up. So. They, they happen. Yeah. So minus two, I still Sorry, get I'm you trying to think of, uh, what manifest Matt destiny, like 11. Yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, because they were, yeah, okay. Because you roll, you roll right, four dice. Over. You Drop say, hey, man, I'll, I'll oh, take the 18, yeah, yeah. right? That seems fine. So that's acronym. 21? Yeah. That's a one-shotter. Well, uh, without, without plus two acronym. more. So Matt, it's, it is your this, that's a 19. 19. So I take 13, right? Yeah. But that's how it goes. So despite the fact that I lost a huge mm -hmm. portion of my list, I was I'm still up on scenario by the end of the game. Uh, this camera right. so you guys can see it while they're doing this. Though I do like not losing in your turn. Like yeah. that ability to kind of answer back and go. Yeah. I mean, if I because if I like if it was three up and it was on my turn, I could have just won here. Like I would have committed so much harm. I would have feeded for that. Yeah, I'd probably still be fine. Yeah. He wanted to see the setup, so I've moved the camera uh, to see what's behind the curtain. Yeah, I do. I really like. So this is what we're rocking. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you can see the arm at the very bottom of your screen. Yeah. Uh, it goes up to an armature that the camera is mounted on. The Instant Link 360 is up there. And then the rest, yeah. this is all we got. Because these um, are Velcro to the table. Pinging terrain on your side of the board as the terrain to hold is pretty powerful. Yeah. That's like an easy score. That's why my War Witches just sat here every turn. I, I do fear that some tables you go to are going to be like. Of course. Alrighty, they're doing some wrap up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and end out the stream. But thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, we had a couple cheaters yeah. here, but they had a fun game. Like, um, outside of like this models on the table, so there. Like it was a fairly clean choices. game, so that was good to like see. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to end it out here. So again, thank you to Enchanted Grounds here in Littleton, Colorado. If you're ever in the area, want to join us, feel free to do so. Uh, we game here every Wednesday from uh, about 4 p.m. till close, about 10 p.m., and we stream every week, uh, most every week from uh, starting at 6.15.
So come down, join us. Uh, the next big event that we're going to be streaming, we'll be streaming weekly still. Uh, the next big event we'll be streaming is going to be December 30th. We have another event coming up that day. Uh, and I think we'll be streaming um, some Black Tide scenarios that day, but not 100% sure yet, but I think that's what we'll be doing. So anyway, um, so yes, I think we will be, I will not be here next week, um, but I think Andrew is going to try and still come and do some games next week. <laughs> um, so I will not be here, but we should still be streaming and running. My co-host will be taking over next week for that. Um, so that's it. Have a wonderful rest of your week. We will catch y'all later. And thank you again for tuning in to Zero Camp. Yeah.